Melody Stoucher is a chief petty officer in the U.S. Navy and serves openly as a trans woman. Yes, we can. We absolutely can get the job done. We're here to put on the uniform and come to work. We're here to do exactly the same sorts of things that they are. And our reasons for joining the military are exactly the same as everybody else's. After Barack Obama allowed transgender people to serve openly in the military, President Trump announced on Twitter, The United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. His main argument is the high cost, but a BBC report from 2019 shows that this idea is based on false data. Despite criticism, 240 days later, he signed the official memorandum, which is known as the Transgender Military Ban. Transgender persons with a history or diagnosis of gender dysphoria, individuals who the policy state may require substantial medical treatment, are disqualified from military service. Melody Stoucher, as a member of the Navy in a leading position, clearly opposes the ban since she transitioned when Obama was in office. Melody is excluded from the ban. The soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines who, who have had the chance to come out of the closet and transition and be their full selves at work are not just happier, but they're more productive, they're more focused, they're better members of their work center team and all the rest because they don't have to be on their guard about, okay, who knows. Felicia Ellen Ziondo is a Vietnam veteran and had to hide her true gender identity while serving. During the phone call, she explains how this had a horrible impact on her life. Join it because mostly I would get killed and I would become a hero in my family and that would be the end of it. But I found out later that uh, I just was tired of trying to be a man. Even five Republican congressmen are against Trump's ban. Those who advocate the ban have weak arguments, which are not based on representative data. Jim and Hofe argues. Our military readiness is at an all-time low, putting our troops at risk and our national security in jeopardy. Last year, when the Obama administration initiated changes to these policies, I expressed concerns about the impact on our readiness. Debbie Morris, who works with transgender veterans at the VA Medical Center, points out what the ban is actually about. I don't think having trans people serving active duty would be any, uh, any more problematic than having anyone else serve. It's about discrimination, fear, and, and playing up the fear of the constituency of the people the politician is uh, catering to. People in, oh, I don't know, South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina, all around the Bible Belt. And, and the trans people are the new gay people. This is our new thing to be afraid of. Despite her gender identity, Melody Stoucher has reached a lot. For the rest of the community, she sees a chance for progress. We have the opportunity here in just a few months to elect a president again. If the current occupant of the Oval Office remains in office, we probably got a few more years to go. If we elect a new president instead, it sounds from the campaign trail like the trans ban is going away fairly quickly.